This video is our presentation of Gold Canyon Resources, brought to you by AllPennyStocks.com. Gold Canyon trades on Toronto Venture Exchange under ticker GCU. It's our Canadian technical stock to watch this week, both on the U.S. and Canadian sides. We went with extremely oversold plays. The Toronto markets have just been taking a pounding the last few weeks. And there's several plays that we're looking for bottom bounces now. GCU dropped a long-legged doji on Thursday. Stock took on some selling pressure, dropped all the way below a buck twenty. But by the time the closing bell came, it had pulled back up near $1.30. See, it closed at $1.29. Still down almost 4%. A pretty good volume, 1.3 million shares traded. Most definitely an increase over the normal. So now what I'd be looking for is an up day. If this stock can actually gap up and close up, it's a three-day candle pattern called a morning star. It's a pretty strong reversal pattern. Of course, it still needs to be confirmed the next day, which would be Tuesday. But because it pulled up like it did on Thursday, it's a good one to keep on radar to see if it's going to take on more buying pressure today. Now, we're not going to get a lot. The stock's been on a pretty hard fall. Indicators are going to be moving into oversold territory. That's one of the reasons we picked it as a technical stock to watch. But the histogram bars, the MACD, are trending back towards zero. MACD getting pretty close to levels where it's bounced before. And it can put together some pretty big swings off of these levels. See right through here, bottomed out, move all the way from $1.70, added more than a buck a share to peak at $1.87. Again, right through this area last October, all the way to $1.60, doubled to $3.20. And the MACD is getting pretty close to that bounce level again. This is a loose PPO ADX pinch where it bounced. Kind of offset PPO ADX pinch where it bounced. And now moving itself into a pretty tight PPO ADX pinch. So a similar sort of setups. So once again, looking for the bounce. MFI is into oversold territory, pretty much to be expected. Accumulation distribution, bounced off these levels before. Checking money flow moving back towards zero. There is some buying pressure coming into the play. That's reflected in that long-legged doji where some buying pressure came in to end the day on Thursday. CCI, trying to make some higher lows. Importantly, I'll be looking forward to move back out of oversold, get back above negative 100. Bottom feeders will use that as a buy point quite frequently. Full still, also into oversold territory, perhaps trying to make some higher lows. And the tricks, I always try and leave it up there. I don't change indicators around. But it's a lagging indicator and just not going to get much from it on a stock that's diving off in a price per share like this. Relative strength index, also well into oversold. Be looking for the technical correction and bounce there as well. These plays do have a high risk reward to them because there's just not any bottom support in sight. Fall all the way back to the lows of Thursday at $1.18 to be the bottom support that I'd be looking for. Now as I mentioned, I want to see a candle. Something like that would be ideal. Good buying pressure coming into the play. As I mentioned, that three-day candle pattern would be a morning star. And then I'd be looking for something like that to follow to confirm the reversal. As far as some static resistance, come right into that area around $1.55. Now immediately it becomes pretty clear. It's got a pretty decent drop back down to support, but a pretty nice upside to any resistance. And in this case, the upside outweighs the bottom side. And that's what makes the play particularly appetizing with the buying pressure that came into end last week. Beyond that, I think there's going to be a little bit of resistance right in there around this $1.67, $1.68 mark. And that's going to run right up to this $1.70, $1.72. See, historically, it was a support level, a very strong support level before the last big bounce. And it acted as a little bit of resistance here over the last couple weeks. But importantly, it's drawing upon the old support. Now, it's a pretty big upside, about $0.45 cents per share to even go up there and challenge that. And it's not to say it's going to shoot up there tomorrow or anything along those lines, but it's important to recognize where some resistance points are going to come in because on plays that are technical bounces, traders that play these sort of plays will quite often take their profits at resistance points to try and maximize gains, look for a pullback, a higher low to be made, a new support level, and then another bounce to come off of it. Beyond that level, I think it's going to be pretty stiff again up there around $2 because that was a resistance point before the last breakout. Again, going far back into last year, into August, so it was a support level again. And even here in March, it was a support level. So I'd look for it to stiffen there. Of course, the 50-day moving average is dynamic. It's coming down. It's going to reinforce a resistance point somewhere around there. But keeping things in the short term for this week, I'd look for a support level to be established, preferably no lower than $1.18 on any sort of pullback. And first and foremost, I'd be looking for some upward pressure to come into this play to kick off the week and try and put together a nice reversal pattern. Overall, though, it's an interesting chart. One I think is worth keeping an eye on early this week to see how it performs. As always, it's merely my interpretation of the GCU chart. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own property due diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results.
Please visit the allpennystocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. And do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by Allpenny Stocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching and trade smart.